In this video, we'll be looking for header and footers. Let's see that. We'll be seeing how to insert a page number, date, and we have how to insert time, file number, and file sheet name, etc. Let's see that. I have some data given here. Let's say date, region, sales rep, COGs, and sales. Now what I'll do is, I want to insert a header and footer. How do I do that? I'll go to insert, tab, and I'll go to this header and footer. So once I click on this header and footer, if you see there are three boxes which I entered at header option. Now, now once I click on this place anywhere, you see there's a tab which I'll get it, the header and footer tools. The name of the tab is design tab. So if I click outside somewhere, the tab goes away. So if I click inside the tab, inside the header, the tab comes back. Now, on this design tab, if you see there are various options available. One is how do you insert a page number, number of pages and so on. Let's see that. So I'll just keep my cursor here and click on this page number. Now it says and and in brackets which says page. So if I click outside, you see there's a page number given. That's the first page. If I scroll down, you see I'll get a second page. Similarly, if I go for this next page, you see there's a third page. So, so on. So I'll get all the page numbers now. But the thing is, I am not exactly sure whether it is page number or not before because if I go to 58, 58 page or 68 page, it is difficult to understand. So for your understanding, what I'll do is I'll type here before this, I'll type here something as page space. So I'll type here page and space and the page number. So once I press enter, uh, sorry, once I uh, keep my cursor outside. So now it makes something sense like page one, page two, right? Page two and page three like this, all the places, page three. Now. If I want to understand what is total number of pages in my Excel sheet. So I'll go to this, uh, I'll keep my cursor inside. I'll go to design tab. And if you see there's number of pages. So once I click on that, so you see total number of pages. So once I click outside, you see there are 49 pages. So why not include, so there are total 49 pages. Why not include as page one of 49, page two of 49, page three of 49. So total number of pages. So I'll just double click here, put a space type here off right and I'll click on this number of pages so what happened page number of total number of pages now I'll just click outside so you see page 1 of 49 I go down I see page 2 or 49 third thing is page 3 of 49 so it makes sense to understand what exactly we are trying to say so when you convert into a PDF it is of much use next I have I've shown you how to insert a what you call number of page that is a page number and number of pages. Let's see the next one I have. I'll just remove this one. I have something that is current date, right? And I'll put an enter and I'll see as current time. So I'll click outside. So today's date is 20th of July, 2016. And the current time is 17, that is 5.49 PM. Now, if I open this Excel sheet after two days, the date will change to 22nd. If I open the Excel sheet after 10 minutes, the time will change automatically. So date and time also matters. Only if you are in working in Excel, that time it works. Next is if I keep my cursor outside and now if I go to design tab, you see there's something na named as file path and we have something known as sheet name. So I'll just click on this file path. So what it will give is it will give me the location of the file at which location it is kept and I'll keep, I'll keep my cursor outside. So it is not readable. So for that what I'll do is I'll delete this, keep my cursor outside. So it says the file path is C users tutorial point desktop and that's a folder name where my file is kept. So at this location, if you see the file will be kept, which is header and footer. So it's a bit lengthy. If you want, you can remove that. Just remove this file name and keep your cursor outside. Now, when I keep my cursor inside in the design tab, if you see there's a file path. Next is there's a file name. So my name of the file is header and footer. If I keep my cursor here, file name. Now I will keep outside the name of the file is header and footer. But if I do not want a file name, I want something that is a sheet name, header and footer sheet. Same way, I'll just double click, press enter, and I'll click on this sheet name. So my sheet name is header and footer sheet. So I'll keep uh, outside. Yeah, so that is header and footer sheet. So you'll get all the options. We have seen uh, the page number, total number of pages, date, time. We have seen file name, file path, sheet name. All the options are available in the design tab once you click on this place. Right? So in the design tab, we have seen all these options. The last one, I have something. If you want to insert a picture, let's say you want to insert a logo of your company at every page. How do you go for it? So I'll just keep my cursor here, remove this. I want to insert some picture. I have saved some picture on the desktop of some name. I'll just see that. I'll click on this picture. I'll say I want to import from a file. Click on import from a file. And on the desktop, 
yeah on the desktop i have this file that's the logo of the company and i'll click on insert so now that is and picture so once i click outside you see that's a logo given but it is not visible because of this text so what i'll do is i'll ask my text to go down so that the picture would be visible how do i ask him i'll just drag it down this way yeah so now my picture is visible so at every page this logo will be visible so you see i'll scroll down this logo is visible so this way logo the name of the file the sheet name and whatever you want you can customize and use it accordingly so when it becomes a pdf it looks very beautiful right yeah so i'll increase the font yeah next to so now next is if i go to this design tab i have something which is go to footer same if i click on this go to footer instead of header place i'll get same options and the footer place so it's no difference instead of header i'll go to footer and those options are available same but now there's few options which are available different first page different odd pages let's see what is that i'll just remove this yeah i'll not make any changes right now i'll just keep my cursor here and i see as different first page so i'll click here which says different first page yeah different first page and in this page i'll put just let's say i'll put as current time and keep my cursor outside so on the first page i am able to see that is the time is 552 pm if i go down you will not be able to see that because the reason is because the reason is this one different first page and all the pages will be common the first page will be something different but whereas if you want something different i'll just first remove everything different first page yeah i'll remove everything from start i'll show you how to go for it yeah in this place what i'll do is i'll insert just current date and keep my cursor outside so current date is 28 7 what i want is i want different odd and even pages different odd and even pages so all the odd pages will have this date all the even pages will be blank let's see how keep my cursor outside this is the first page which is the odd page i'll scroll down on the second page if you see there's no date given here but if i go to the third page on the third page you are able to see so every odd pages date would be visible and every even pages the date won't, won't be visible here so this way you can you know you can customize according to your requirement what do you want on odd and even pages so i'll just remove that i do not want that next one is if you see the margin of this header and the footers will be with respect to the table itself the data itself so what i want is align with page margins if i remove that so you see there's a small shaken of this headers on the right hand side if i keep my cursor click on this check box you see there's an alignment given similarly if i do that the alignment is on the right hand side so this way you can choose according to your requirement what alignment you wanted next and the last option i have which is scale with the document now if i just uh, keep my cursor here scale with the document you see there's a size change of the date the size of the date changes so when you print accordingly what size of the what do you call header or footer you want with respect to the font of the sheet or you want separately so that you can choose and work on it so that's all in this video we have seen how to work on this headers and footers and yeah last thing is if you see there's a header option it will help you to understand what type of header and footer you want this names are given here so if you see the these are different options which are given whatever options you like you, you can choose it otherwise you can ignore it similarly for footers all the options are given that's all so here these are the options which you have seen for header and footer elements header and footer we have seen navigation and op options i hope you have understood that's all for this video